There he goes. She goes. This doesn't seem like a place for bikinis. All right, get your cooter on the scooter. Let's get to work. Were you recording the whole time? <laughs> What's up, Reno? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and it is time, time once again for that dynamic duo, the terrible twosome, to once again hit the road. We might not be the heroes that the world wants, but we're the heroes that it deserves. Exploding like a 45 down the highway, once again, we have white lightning and black hammer with a, a little less hammer and a little less lightning than, uh, <laughs> the, than the last time we were on bikes together. I don't think the single cylinder on this 150 makes up uh, even a quarter. <laughs> Yeah, even a quarter of one cylinder of the Black Hammer White Lightning Duo that we went cross country on. But you know what? It's its own kind of fun. We'll just call them Faulkner and Hemingway, the Fury, baby. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, there's the Fury. Talk about too much pork for just one fork. Me and David from Forgotten Angels look like a couple of Russian dancing bears on these two motorcycles. I gotta imagine this is exactly how Honda expected these bikes to be used. Just a couple of bros out having a good time on tiny little bikes. Exactly how Honda intended. Right now, me and old David from Forgotten Angels out on these two bikes look like a woke advertising campaign for Honda XR 150s. Just me and my black dad out for a putt on our motorcycles. You meet the worst people on a Honda. Honda, they certainly know how to make a mini bike. In fact, they've got mostly mini bikes on the roster these days. It's seems like. But when it comes to choose one from the Grom, the Trail 125, the Cub, I don't know man, the XR 150, this is way more my speed. I'll grab a couple waters and I'll put a couple dollars in here. Okay, 10 bucks a gas between two XR 150s. David's probably right. We got enough to go to Timbuktu. I think I read online that the top speed on this thing is supposed to be 75 miles an hour. I don't know what tiny little Japanese waifu was on it when they recorded that and what hill she was going down and what breeze was behind her back but it must have been a stiff one because a normal, like, American-sized man, an XL male from the land of the free, if you can do more than 55 or 60 on this, I'll be shocked. But to be honest, that's what I expected out of the bike anyway, even though they were claiming 75 online, so there was no surprises there. No matter which way you cut it, 12 horsepower is still just 12 horsepower. And when you have the aerodynamics of a double quarter pounder like I do, it's only going to be able to overcome so much wind resistance. Hmm, my stable on that little camera is gonna be struggling, baby, if it can even stay upright, which is probably not gonna happen. The NC360 GO is not really a great off-road camera simply due to the way that it mounts on the bike. I mean, this bike's fine off-road, I guess. I mean, not really. <laughs> it's better than a street bike. Yeah, we'll go with that. Better than a street motorcycle. It's better than a Harley Davidson Dyna. It's low risk and high reward. Now, don't get me wrong. You can always get going fast enough off-road to hurt yourself. There's certainly a lot more adrenaline from going half as fast off-road than you would go on the street. So that in and of itself is kind of nice and a lot less dangerous. But 15, 20 miles an hour, trust me, I've been down at that speed. You can still mess yourself up pretty damn good but it's the low risk that really makes it fun being able to do 15 20 miles an hour and out here on these bikes that feels like I'm going 100 miles an hour on the street <laughs> off-road going down the trails with the blinker on that's a dad move if I ever saw one David there he goes <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let David enjoy that and uh He'll just tell me the story later. I figured I'd let you go through it and leave me a review before I tried it out, David. My <laughs> <laughs> oh, reflexes are still there. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, I see a lot of things. I spy with my wandering eye. A rogue cami bay on the couch outside, baby. The world is healing itself. It's officially sundress season. Does that look pretty? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Sundress season? Sundre there's, oh. there's nothing better. Shut up, Oh, I'm scared. Oh. I got scared. Cut. <laughs> Actually, um, I want to make something. Can you help me? It involves the no When she asks like that, be right back, fellas. Right back. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? Now, I don't need you all freaking having a little tea time, drinking chocolate milk in the kitchen, comparing notes, okay? 
Oh, well, you know, that's fair. <laughs> How much milk? That's your that's your second gallon in like three days. What are you gonna do with the cucumber, <laughs> first of all? I have lots of questions. For now, I'll keep them to myself. Welcome to our lives. <laughs> there's, a lot of whip, there's a lot of whipped cream on that, dude. There's a lot of milk and whipped cream in this house. I like it. Don't gag me. Oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't do <laughs> whippets, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's good. Right? Well, you know, when I do that, nobody puts whipped cream in my mouth, unfortunately. <laughs> Welcome to Love Connection, where old fashioned romance meets modern day technology, where you hear all the intimate details of a first date. And now, here's the host of Love Connection. Have it resurgent. First off, no free feed, dude. The Tootsies are out. Thank you for my washer and dryer, Joshua. I'll give you boys a piece of advice right now. Buy your girl a new washer and dryer. She'll love you forever. <laughs> the way to a woman's heart is not money, jewels, or acts of service. It's a new washer and dryer. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and tie up some loose ends. So you might be asking yourself, just what the hell is the beige malaise still doing in Brap Star Garage? And that's a perfectly acceptable question to ask. Now here's a good reason it's still in here, even though somebody won it. As you guys know, we raffled off this 82 Tour Glide and it's going to a gentleman in Texas and he wants to ride it back home. Every single dollar from that raffle went directly to Forgotten Angels. And that's one of the reasons that it's still here. You see, he wants to ride it back to Texas and I don't blame him, it's an awesome bike. But there's still a few things we have to do to this motorcycle. It's not done yet. We have to put tires on it. We have to completely rebuild the carburetor. I cleaned the carburetor, but it just wasn't quite good enough. So we had Joe the Mountain Jedi completely rebuild it. On top of that, it needs neck bearings and new tires. And so that's why it's still here. Not because I haven't had time to do it, but because tires are expensive. I just haven't had the money to do it yet. When I say 100% of every dollar in those raffle tickets goes directly to Forgotten Angels, I mean it. So all the tires, all the parts that we use to fix up these raffle bikes for Forgotten Angels, they come out of my own pocket and not just my own pocket we have a patreon huge thanks to everyone who supports there but 100 percent of patreon money is used to fix up motorcycles except it doesn't always cover every single cost i'm not complaining whatsoever but it doesn't always cover every single cost so i literally just didn't have the money to buy the tires now we have the tires and joe the mountain jedi is coming to do one of his videos which is on mondays on this channel every monday we can get one out and he should be showing you guys in a video that may or may not already be out how to change a tire at home and also had a balance attire at home. And to the gentleman who won the Tour Glide, first off, thank you for your donation to Forgotten Angels. Second off, it's gonna be done soon, my brother. And speaking of Joe the Mountain Jedi, let's go ahead and unload, I guess we'll call it a prop, a prop for uh, his day of the week on Shade Tree TV. He's a motorcycle man Tough as nails and callous hands Fixes those engines with a heart of gold In his garage where stories unfold Cigarette smoke fills the Midwest It's Monday and it's time to learn how to change your own tires Wait, 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 wait I did the worst possible faux pas that you can do whenever you're shooting video to put on the internet Wearing the same shirt I was last time I was here there, that's better. When you say different shirt, real different. <laughs> that didn't work too awful bad. Try it again. Soapy water, Dawn dish soap, whatever personal lubricant you personally prefer to use. Let's call it 20 grams worth of weight on the wheel. That's okay. intent to distribute. That's Saturday night in Vegas, dude. Me and Joe just got done finishing another Mountain Jedi episode and Besides the windshield, we got a couple little things to do with that. This bike is officially done. So if you see this video before I email you, 
Your bike's ready, bud. The Beige Malaise is back in business, thanks to, mainly thanks to Joe the Mountain Jedi. We're gonna have to treat him to dinner, uh, although I'm gonna be able to eat it too. That's my favorite kind of treat, one that I get as well. We've got the wife unit jumping on the back of the Bastard Glide back there, and in the Canadian tuxedo, baby, Miss Chloe Cox, making the Tour Glide an actual test ride and not just one with me on it because you can't put a girl on the back. What's the point? The Tour Glide is back in business, baby. It's ready to be picked up, and my man says he's gonna ride it home to Texas. I wish him the best of luck. Right now, I don't want to give it away anymore. Now I want to keep it. And if I want to keep it, then you know it's really ready to go. I think it'll make it. It's the 80s and I like the ladies, baby. Let me tell you what, it's always funny to ride the Tour Glide from 1982 directly after I had Miss Chloe Cox on the back of the CBX 1000, our current raffle bike. The fact that that motorcycle and this motorcycle are from the same year is pretty hilariously amazing. Now, I love them both, don't get me wrong. I love them both. I couldn't even pick one. Don't, don't make me pick which child I have to save from the fire, but they're very different motorcycles. I'm just so happy that we finally have the tour glide up to snuff he could have taken it before this but man it needed new tires the carburetor needed to be completely rebuilt with new seals and everything and a, a bunch of other stuff a little magic that joe the mountain jedi did you know i just wanted it to be good for the guy who's picking it up i didn't want him to have to get it and then immediately have to work on it now it's a shovel head i can't guarantee that you won't have to immediately work on this you might have to work on it the day you come to ride it home man no promises dude no promises Actually, Actually, you know what? I promise that at some point you'll have to work on it. Hopefully it's not on your ride home. And me and Joe, we've done our best to try to make that happen. And we're putting a little extra in there with old Chloe Cox on the back, giving it a little bit of that good luck. What are you guys doing back there? What's going on back there? Y'all smoking weed? Ooh. Damn, all right, dad parking only. I see you brought up the convertible today, that's cool. Down, huh? What's up, baby? Gotta let the hair blow. What little I got left. Mainly my eyebrows. <laughs> Unlike some people on YouTube, I'm not worried about my bald spot. It's the next day. I'm hatless, but that's all right. It looks cute, because uh, I did it. And listen up, baby. Uh, if uh, Cammy's going to wear less, I'm going to wear less, too. You I know? like it. So I love that for me. <laughs> of course I'm proud of that haircut you gave me. It looks me. cute. As long as you think so, that's all it's that really matters. Well, then. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a place for bikinis, but I'm not gonna complain. Amy's around and it's summertime. You'll find a few complaints from Shade Tree Surgeon. Can you blow them up now? <laughs> yeah, let's blow some up. I get a lot of questions, people asking me, you know, how to make videos, you know, I make more than just YouTube videos, obviously, but I never really feel like I'm qualified to give advice because I'm not a professional. But I will tell you this, one of the most important things you can do whenever you're making videos, you wanna make sure you get the shot, is write it down. What are we starting with today, Cam? Cupcakes. Throw all of the inflatable dragons at me. At my <laughs> Not that kind of inflatable dragon. I also need you to make me some eggs in a little bit. Fertilized or non. <laughs> Scrambled, bitch. Exactly how I like them in my ladies. It's gonna be mine, and then when we're done, she can on hers or whatever. Right. So, and then just do like a rub and. Ours. Yeah. yeah. Come into the thing and be like, hey, I wanna do that too. You do it to yourself or I'll help you, and then um, I'll just be like, oh my gosh. Big smudge? And then we can do it on our butt. Like, I'll put yeah. some on your butt with my. And then Josh can lick it off. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's a great Ladies idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I never complain about my life. Let's get to work. Were you recording the whole time? <laughs> this has uh, certainly been some kind of vlog. About to hop on the CBX 1000 over there. We're actually giving that bike away here in like, gosh, like two days from now. We're pulling the winner for that bike. So if you don't have a ticket, now's the time to get it. It's been a fun couple of days. I'm so glad our girl Cami Bay is back. Everyone goes, where's Cami Bay? They were dying for you, begging for you, couldn't believe it. Where, where is Cammy Bay? They cried to the heavens. I'm right here. 
never went away. She's always here. I never miss Cammie Bay. How can I miss her if she never goes away? But life gets in the way sometimes and it's not always easy to make a video. But when the girls are around, I'll tell you this right now, it's uh, always pretty easy for me to pick up the camera. I don't think that I am quite so inspirational when those roles are reversed though. So, you know, they don't really want to film me. I'm more than enthusiastic enough for all of us. All right, get your cooter on the scooter. Baby, come on, dude. You're killing me on that Ducati. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> of course I'll have to give chase, man. I don't care if I got a girl on the back. You just call me Peppy Le Pew, baby. I'll follow you anywhere. When it comes to old shade tree surgeon, I've only got one motto. More is never enough. I know a lot of people are wondering, Shade Tree Surgeon, how do you keep two girls happy all day, especially two girls as beautiful as this? And I'll tell you right now, they're not happy. They're not very happy with me right now. I've been working them all day long. We've been filming all day long, and I neglected to feed any of them, okay? And if I don't get some food into these girls, they're going to turn into freaking gremlins. So how do I keep them happy? Sometimes I don't. And while they might be a little hangry with me right now, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm having a pretty good time, that's for sure. Sharing a motorcycle right now with the adorable Chloe Cox riding side by side with the legendary Cami Bay on a CBX 1000, which is probably going to be one of my very last rides on this motorcycle because hey in a couple days on 420 somebody's winning this motorcycle so if you were gonna buy a ticket to win this bike now's the time and odds are good you have a better chance of winning this motorcycle with the amount of people who've entered so far than you have of winning a hundred dollars on a scratch-off ticket and the biggest difference between this and a scratch-off ticket isn't just that the odds are so much better to win this it's that you know that your money is going to a good place forgotten angels is an absolutely amazing institution run by the two most amazing amazing people in the world. Every $25 raffle ticket bought to win this CBX goes directly to benefit Forgotten Angels and their fight to end the cycle of abuse in the foster care system. Their fight against homelessness. I know the problem seems so huge that nobody can do anything about it and I'm not saying that we're gonna solve this problem, but God damn it, I don't care if you solve it or not. Somebody's gotta do something. And I'll tell you this right now, I know you guys out there, a lot of you guys have been through the ringer. A lot of you guys, you bikers who are watching this channel, you guys maybe don't look like the nicest people in the world. Maybe a couple of you guys got a rap sheet. Maybe you got tattoos on your face or maybe you just look like a real nice boy. Some of you do. Regardless, I know a lot of you guys out there, when people look at you, they don't think you do the right thing. And hey, look at me, baby. I spend more time doing the wrong thing than the right thing. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. I certainly am not. I'm just trying to get into the black on karma. Obviously, I like to have my fun and uh, I ain't no stranger to sin. But that's the amazing part about this is I know I can still go out there and do good and you guys can too. It feels pretty amazing to be a bad person doing good things, all right? And yeah, every weekend we might reset that karma meter back to being in the red. Climbing back up and falling back down, I have a pretty good time doing it. I ain't ever gonna be perfect. I know a lot of you guys ain't striving for perfection either, all right? We're just trying to do a good thing and leave a big footprint on the amount of time that we got on this earth. And I think that Dave and Cindy are helping us do that and it feels pretty damn good. And I'm using the royal us here, trust me. When I say us, I mean, all of us because this has never gone outside the youtube channel it's never gone past shade tree army all this money raised all these lives changed this has all been done with just us now trust me i wouldn't kick it out of bed if this thing went viral and we could really really do some amazing stuff but it also feels pretty damn good knowing there's enough amazing uh seriously flawed people as well but amazing people watching this channel my channel cami Bay's channel our girl chloe cox back there shay lisi there's enough amazing people watching hanging out that guess what we don't need the rest of the world we can do a good thing with just us <laughs> <laughs> and for every action, there must be a reaction. So for all those good things, we got to do a couple bad things too. All right, girls? We've earned it. Three Bulls Tavern. Uh, me and Cammie have been very, very good. So good, guys. Real quick, we stopped. I stopped drinking liquor. Josh stopped drinking a lot, a lot of beer. Not as much beer, but you Not know what? Much. We've been good. We had a hard day's work. Not that Chloe's been being bad, but she's had a lot of chocolate milk. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Not a secret, dude. Get keys. She has a weird obsession with it. Weird. Like she chugs it. Individual blue corn chips, which is kind of weird, but they're covered in avocado puree, jalapenos, and shrimp. Delicious. Ain't nothing about that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's both adorable and horrendous looking at the same time. I love it. All right, boys, this is it. This is the last chance to buy a raffle ticket to win this 1982 Honda CBX 1000. Absolutely amazing condition, about the best condition you'd ever want something to be in if you're gonna ride it regularly, which means it's amazing, but it's not so perfect that you're gonna feel bad about putting miles on it. And trust me, you're gonna wanna put miles on this thing while whoever wins it is gonna wanna put miles on it because it is an absolute joy to ride. Four year motorcycle, inline six cylinder engine. Back when Honda used to make cool bikes and 100% of every ticket sold is going to help Forgotten Angels and their fight to end the cycle of abuse in the foster care system. Their fight against homelessness, their fight for people who don't have anybody else representing them, people who are falling through the cracks, young men and women who are turning 18 and being made homeless by bad acting foster care homes. If you know about this, you already know what a horrendous situation it is. You already know how bad it is out there. And if you don't know, I probably couldn't tell you enough about it to make you believe it. But I promise you, Dave and Cindy are out there fighting the good fight and all of us are helping them make the world a better place. I love to have my fun. We like to make our funny little videos. We make our jokes. I'm not exactly the kind of guy you bring home to your mom, but that doesn't mean we can't do good stuff because I know a lot of you guys are like that too. We are chaotic good. Bad people doing good things. Dangerous women and good hearted villains. That's Shade Tree Army and I love you guys for that. The links will be down below. Grab a ticket. We're pulling it this Saturday 420. Until next time, keep it weird. Crashing through the sky comes a fearful cry. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Armies of the night. Evil taking flight. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Panic spreading far and wide. Can the world oppose the deadliest of foes? Shade Tree Army! Shade Tree Army! Who will risk it all to end the evil call of Shade Tree Army! Shade Tree Army! They never give up, they never say die, walking tall with banners high. Shade Tree Army, a ruthless gang of scum, villains, freaks, and bikers determined to rule the world.